What's up guys, today in this video, I wanna just talk about where I've been. This is my longest break from YouTube ever and you guys deserve to know why. So this is my longest break ever from YouTube since 2009 and the longest my hair has ever been. Um, but the reason why I've been gone is if you haven't been following um, Cyber, who was like love of my life, um, the best dog ever, he passed away at the end of November. So this video kind of talks about like why I've been gone and obviously it's that. I just wanted to give you a quick recap because I know this video is super long. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just listen to like the first minute and you'll get the gist of it. So yeah, um, I basically talk about like, uh, you know, it's been a really hard thing. Um, and why? Because uh, Cyber was a bigger part of my life than most people know. And if you want to know the deeper part of that, watch this video, and at the end I'll explain the future plans of this channel. I would appreciate it if you guys can watch the whole thing. I've been working on this video for a while and I got a lot more cooking up, so stay tuned and thank you for tuning in. What is up guys? Today in this video we're going up north, but first we gotta drop off Miss Cammy girl. She's gonna have the time of her life um, and she's gonna stay at my mom. Gonna miss you. So this is all that you can try. What are you just sitting there for? All right, y'all, so we have to move all of this stuff. It's going to rummage sale. We gotta put all of that in here. Cammy, where are you? Hey, yeah. Oh, you guys are white. Yeah! I'm gonna miss you. You gonna miss me? Yes. Say bye to your dad. Oh, <laughs> oh that hurts. Got it, bro. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, Cammy. Thanks for the kiss. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, Art. Alright, you're welcome. Bye, love you. Love you too. See ya. Now we're off to Auntie's and Grandma's. Yeah. I can't film too much because it's raining and my camera's not waterproof, but uh, you know we had to stop at Cyber. I always stop by in this area when I get here then when I leave because that's what Cyber always did. He would run to this tree and pee right there. So I know it's kind of my version of like paying respects. If it was more private, I might, I might even pee on the tree too for him, but <laughs> you know, can't do that. <laughs> I got some coffee for the five hour ride, and then I got this chicken tender wrap. All right, so I had to pull over at a rest stop. God damn it. My back camera cable fell off. Look at that. Jeez, and it's super windy, dude. Damn. Yeah, we're only an hour in so far. Just wanted to update y'all. All right, we got, what does that say? Focus, hocus, pocus. Four hours and 11 minutes left, y'all. I'm gonna get back to driving. Look at that. Now we just have the front view, and then like the front of the window. See, you'll see that car go, and then this is me in front of the camera. All right, I gotta go. There's like cars and shit coming. This is like hella bad. Yeah, I promise you she's gonna give me instructions I don't understand. Hello? Hi, Derek. Hey, how's it going, Grandma? Good. Uh, are you north of Madison at all? Um, all I can tell you is I'm three hours and 25 minutes away from my GPS. From where? I have no idea. I'm just following the GPS. Because, you know, if you're north of Madison, Here if there's go. a sign, Wassa, stay in the right lane because you take a quick right there. Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about when you say those oh, things. Okay. <laughs> well, when you're on the road, what road are you on? Um, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just on a freeway. On the freeway, right? Yep. Whole lot of nothing. Bye-bye. Bye, I bye. Bye, love you. I told you. Is admiration makes us want to I told you. She's just like, yeah, you got to go 10 miles on I-94 and then 5 miles west and then take a loop around to... Eastway Highway. Like I don't even know what you're talking about. Just just send me the Google Map link. Send your location. <laughs> so you guys are probably wondering, Derek, why are you going on this trip? And to be honest with you, I just need a reset. I think after Cyber, I literally like everything just turned upside down. Honestly, just cutting the bullshit and like telling you guys shit that I haven't even like told my family type shit. It's just been, obviously, 
it, it's just been the hardest thing I've had to deal with. Like, losing Cyber was always something I had in the back of my head. Like, damn, you know, one day this is going to happen. And, you know, I, I remember all these present moments I had with him thinking, like, I know he's going to die someday. But just how everything unfolded so fast and he was just gone like that you know it's it, it kind of made me look at so much stuff differently and just trying to be more present with your loved ones and appreciate your time with them because you seriously never know you literally could die fucking tomorrow from a an aneurysm or some shit speaking of you know cypher's passing um his his cousin my my cousin service dog dan Man, I've known him since I, at least 2013, I think. And, uh, you know, he's getting old. And um, he's, he's got bad arthritis. And yeah, I want to see him. I'm thinking about a lot. If you don't really know what kind of has been going on, you, I don't know how long you followed the channel. To catch you up to speed, a few years ago, I was in college. And, you know, I thought that was the answer to everything. I thought that was going to be... You know, my purpose. Oh, I'm going to graduate, get a good job, pay the bills, and die happy. And my whole life I was told college is for me, and this is what you need to succeed. About halfway through, I just realized this is not helping me. And a lot of that was with mental health issues, too. It's not just, I'm going to be an entrepreneur and not go to college. It, it was never that. With those mental health problems, cyber helped so much because it was finally... You know, like, like it literally felt like I found my soulmate. And that sounds weird, maybe to some people, because he's a dog and all that. But, like, I, it was just a bond I've never had with anyone before. And that's no disrespect to my friends and family. I fucking love y'all, too, if you're watching. But, you know, Cyber was just someone I could be my fully self with and not ever feel judged. Okay, cyber was the foundation to like my whole fucking life. Like I never really felt, other than YouTube and hanging out with my friends, I never felt the happiness I felt when I like started caring from him. And my mindset went from just caring about myself to now I have a, you know, a, a living being to take care of. Hugs help with your mental health so much. But it, man, like taking care of him was to the point where like, I oriented my entire life around my dog, Cyber. Like, literally. Like, I was like, all right, college, I'm spending a lot of time away from him. This job that I'm going to, I'm spending a lot of time away from him. What can I do to spend as much time as possible with my dog? Because that's what made me feel so good. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to take some time off from school, focus on him. And what I also love doing in YouTube and then I realized, well, that's not paying the bills. So I started cutting lawns. And then I realized, you know, you cut enough lawns. You don't got to go to a, a job for however many hours. He was literally the foundation of me, you know, whatever you can call success that I had in terms of like, you know, having income to sustain me and a dog. And then, you know, Cammy came along and then bam, gone. You know, my my foundation of my entire being right now just crumbled. And I'm trying to build that back. And to do that, I just think I need to spend more time with loved ones. I need to spend more time with y'all because this is what I love doing. If you guys go back to my first videos, it's just a kid talking to a camera because that's what, it, that's what I like to do. And it's so weird because now there's this weird stigma around making videos and Everyone wants to be a content creator and speaking of that I watched this mr. Beast video He was on the Joe Rogan podcast if you guys haven't seen it highly recommend it like watching him talk about how he viewed YouTube is no cap Literally how I feel about YouTube. I started this when I was 11 and just since then It's what I felt most comfortable doing talking to a, a camera and editing it and putting it online for anyone to see is when I started doing this I didn't do this for people to see it I did it because I love doing it and I had fun with my friends doing it and that's what I want to do again I just wanted to talk you know a little bit I know a little bit really meant a larger portion of the video but I needed to get that off my chest I'm doing that more I'm just being more open with y'all and just talking to y'all I say y'all 
but I've always called the camera y'all, okay? I want that to be clear. I'm not doing this shit for clout. I'm not doing this shit for numbers. I don't give a fuck if this video gets 10 views or if this video gets 10 million views. I'm still going to be happy I'm putting this out there. All right. See you at my grandma's. Hey. Hey. I just turned the oven on. I was gonna put the pizza in, but I guess I don't have to. It's a long way, isn't it? Yeah. And I do that so often. Every time I go, it's so hungry. Right. Which way did you go from your mother's? Took my GPS. I know. But nice you... to see you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I got here safe. That's all yes. that matters. How was traffic? I was fine. Let's meet this garbage. It like burnt the edge, but it's warm. I don't okay. know if it's warm enough. Yeah, that looks really good. So I have a question for you. In the entire world, do you think there are more doors or more wheels? I, I think it's more wheels. There's this online debate right now on the internet about wheels versus doors. And people are going back and forth and I wanted to know where you stand. I'd have to think about that. You ask your mother that one? I told her that I'm for there's more wheels and she's for it too. But and, every household has a car. Right. And the average number of doors in a house is more than a car. But there's not just wheels on your car. No, I know. There's wheels on your fridge right now. Mm -hmm. There's wheels in your microwave. Billions of wheels on those cars. And then that doesn't include the Hot Wheels toys. Those have wheels. Bicycles. It's crazy how much we rely on the wheel. I think it's the greatest invention. Now, who asked that question? I don't know. It was just online. Don't they have anything else to do? <laughs> Here, I have one more piece. It says three to five. No, I don't want any more. Three nah. to five inches. No, I'm Look full. at all the pizza I just ate. You, you eat that. You, you can, eat that. No. You can have one I'm more full. piece. You, I had some jello before you I don't, came. Jello is sugar and no. water. Eat that. You eat it. Eat that. Oh, God. Be an adult eat and eat your pizza. I, I went on a <laughs> treadmill already, and I'm going to be well, eating too much weight. That go medication. ahead. Eat it. Medication. Cheers. Oh, God. Cheers. No. My medication that I'm taking is going to make me gain weight. What did you say? If there's anything in my cupboards you want, you can have. Okay. <laughs> but I, I don't want to break up the set of burning work. Uh, okay. I don't want your corning wear. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You've never been like on the go and you wanted to look up a fact or you can look up directions. I know or, I or, why do I need the directions? Uh, I just put it in my GPS and it tells me where to go. Okay. Fair. But I get my mail and now I'm going to go on my computer and pay my spectrum bill. I can do that. Yeah. And then I have You can my do it on your phone too. Yeah, I could. And then Let's my, set it up right now. My chart. Oh, we'll set it up right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Here, my phone Grandma. Printing, my phone printing is really small. It's hard for me to see that. That's why I got that big screen. All right, all right. That's fair point. Uh, that's what you can use this for. That's why I use it for. <laughs> and see, I'm going to order this. What do you think of this? Let me, let me take a look. Should I order that or not? Oh yeah, that looks nice. You like that? I'm gonna order that. You know, instead of the one I have. Let me let me compare real quick. You wanna know what you should do? What? This is what I did and it changed my life. Oh, God, help. <laughs> Why do I want to change my life? I'm 80 years old. I got a second set of bed sheets, so whenever I have to do my laundry, I can put a new set on right away. Yeah. And I just alternate them. So I always have. have you don't have to wait. Because the worst thing is when you're about to go to bed and you realize that your bed sheets are in the washer. And then you have to wait in the dryer for like another two you don't hours. Remember that you just put them in the washer and you're going to put them back on your bed? That's never happened to you? Never. I got another set in my cabinet. When I put my sheets in the washer, they're in the dryer and back on the bed. Yeah. Okay. I have another set. Okay. But I never take it out. Why, why <laughs> fold them twice? You take it out of the dryer and you put it on the bed. Otherwise, you're folding that. What, are you, taking... what are you talking about? Okay, come here. Oh, God. Here we go. Come here. All right. 
All right, I take the sheets off. I put them in the washer. You don't have to. I don't need a come visual. Here. I don't need a visual. All right, come here. All so right. So then, what you're saying, you have a second set. Yeah. So here's my second set right here. Okay. Okay. So I will take those and put them on the bed. Right. Then when I take those out of the dryer, I got to fold them and put them up there. Okay. It's stupid. I'm, I'm saving folding and putting them back. But then I'm saying... Yeah. I'm taking that one down, putting it on the bed while that's washing. Well, then when that's washing and drying, I got to fold it and put it away. All right. I guess we view life differently. Nothing I can change your mind to. But uh, why do that? So I don't have to align my schedule at all around my washing machine. I can do the laundry whenever the hell I want to. Oh, I know, but I... I That's I, the benefit. You know what I'll do? I'll get up in the morning, and today I'll do my shoes. Okay. I'll do them. Yeah. I wash them, I dry them, put them back on, and then I go to the store. Go See, that's home. smart. You do them in the morning. I think the reason why we view it differently is because for a long time, I had dogs sleeping in my yeah, bed. So cool. I have to change my sheets a lot more. Yeah. So when I have sheets just ready to go like that, to me, it's just nice because then the dogs don't jump up. And, and... how long do those sheets stay in that wash machine? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you got me there. Oh, sometimes three. Oh my God. See, I, I have a routine. Yeah. And when I was washing clothes with four kids, I had a laundry room. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. With a, with a show of shelves this long. Uh-huh. And a second shelf. And I had six baskets. And everybody had to put their dirty clothes in these baskets. I had the whites, the colors, whatever. Okay. So I had a regular routine to keep these. The, I, I wash my whites with my colors. You wash your whites with your colors? Yeah. To represent how I am, who I am. But you, you, when you have a house full of people, you don't do that. Okay. You know, there were six of us. But um, Michelle, she's got laundry going all the time with Max. Right. You're cleaning with the rag that fell on the floor? Huh? You're cleaning with the rag that fell no, on the I floor? I just dropped it accidentally. <laughs> I dropped this on the floor when I took it out of the drawer. Yeah. So, I just dropped it accidentally and it was dry. And my floor is not dirty either. Oh, yeah? I don't have dogs running around in my house. All right, all right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I know it was super long, but I wanted to at least let you guys know where I've been and what I've been doing and where I'm going. And I'm gonna tell you that now. So I know at the start of the year, I said I was gonna do a Kia Boys video. I just had some editing issues. And then eventually Tommy G, who was a bigger YouTuber than me, in my city made a video on it. So I haven't watched that and it was kind of discouraging because I wanted to be the first person to talk about it because I didn't see it anywhere. So I'm still working on that, but just know I started this video back in January, so I'm not copying Tommy G. Other videos I'm making is some nightmare neighbors experiences that I've had. You know, you guys know that my bike got stolen, the one that I rode with Cyber all day, every day and um, also just some crazy nosy neighbors that I want to talk about soon and a Karen experience. So that'll be in the video after the Kiva Boys. And then Drew and I made a ton of one-wheeling content and I got like five or six subscribers because we were one-wheeling around this area. So I want to show that video too because hopefully y'all are watching and probably just waiting for that one-wheel video. And then finally, I got a huge surprise. It has to do with where I'm filming right now. I probably won't release that video until like two weeks. So stay tuned, I got a lot of content coming in. And only more. It's a new chapter and I'm glad to be back.